Yeah, Baltimore Ravens got some terrible, terrible news uh, when it comes to J.K. Dobbins, a star player. It says, uh, Ravens J.K. Dobbins does, in fact, have a torn Achilles. Coach John Harbaugh confirmed he is out for the season. So J.K. Dobbins' year is over before it even really got started. Um, and it makes you wonder, like, now will J.K. Dobbins ever even play for the Baltimore Ravens again? Because it's tough. Like, this was a year where a lot of us were thinking, all right, this is going to be J.K. Dobbins' year. This is where he's going to go off. This is where J.K. Dobbins going to do his thing. He's going to show how big of a part of this offense he can be. Oh, J.K. Dobbins, this is it right here. We were hyped for J.K. Dobbins. We were excited for J.K. Dobbins. Even seeing J.K. Dobbins get the first touchdown of the game, we watched it like, okay, let's go. And then on a pass from Lamar Jackson, he caught it. Then when he went down, he didn't get back up right away. And when he ain't get back up right away, he eventually got up. It was like, okay. But then he's sort of limping. And then when we saw him go off to the locker room, he had to be helped by the trainers. He had to be held up. And when I saw that, I said, oh, no, that's, that's not good. Because that showed that he couldn't put any pressure on a leg. I was just hoping. I was really hoping, like, all right, hopefully the Ravens are just being extra cautious with J.K. Dobbins. But while they were being extra cautious with him, it was already done. Um, and while we were watching the game, it came out, oh, the Ravens fear J.K. Dobbins has a torn Achilles. They fear it, but it wasn't confirmed yet, so a lot of us were trying to hold on to any little tiny bit of hope that we possibly had with J.K. Dobbins. Like, all right, they're feared to, he's feared to have a torn Achilles, but it won't be a torn Achilles. Hopefully not, and hopefully it'll just be a hamstring. Hopefully it'll just be something else minor, but it's not. It's major. This, this injury ends his season and i think it probably ends his uh business relationship with the baltimore ravens uh this offseason it had gotten it hadn't gotten too ugly but there were a little points of ugliness between jk dobbins and the baltimore ravens because he wanted a new contract and ravens they talked to him and stuff but they obviously couldn't agree to a new contract i'm not sure how far they got in those talks but obviously not far enough because he had not gotten a deal uh, but now, from the Baltimore Ravens, I feel like he may never. No, he will never probably get a long-term deal from them. But then you got to wonder about other teams around the league, too, how they're looking at this. Because with J.K. Dobbins, like we've always said, when he's on the field, you know he can play. You know J.K. Dobbins is a baller for sure. There ain't no question about that. But the biggest question is how much is he going to be on the field? That's the scary part about it. The talent is there. That, no doubts about that in anybody's mind. We, we, we've all seen it. But the injury history is also there as well, and, and that is what scares teams away. With J.K. Dobbins this offseason, he, with the Ravens, he did not have much leverage really at all. Kind of had no leverage. Um, but this right here, this takes away any little tiny bit of leverage that he had with the Baltimore Ravens. This give, They already had pretty much 99% of the power and the leverage in this thing, but now they have 100% of it And what they do when it comes to J.K. Dobbins. Um, because if, they, say for instance, they want to bring J.K. Dobbins back, they can give him the lowest risk type of contract. They can give him a contract where it's not even guaranteed. And they can say, hey, this is, what, this is our offer for you. We want you to come back. We, we know what you can do for, for our team, but we, we can't risk it. So we're going to give you minimal guarantees, if any guarantees at all. Here you go. And he could be like, no, 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 I, I don't want that. And they'd be like, okay, well, we're going to move on. Because this season, they're forced to move on anyway. They have to. With the practice squad, right now they got Melvin Gordon on a practice squad. Their running backs currently on the roster are Justice Hill and Gus Edwards. Keaton Mitchell is on the active roster as well, but right now he's on injury reserve, so he's really not on the active roster. So he has to miss at least the next three games. What they could do, one scenario that the Baltimore Ravens could do if they envision Keaton Mitchell coming in and being their guy. Um, not their guy, not the starter, but they envision Keaton Mitchell coming in and, and, and getting some reps. Uh, they could call up Melvin Gordon. From the practice squad to the active roster for the next three games. They could, he, he could be a practice squad call up for the next three games. Then after those three games, you would get Keaton Mitchell back. So you could bring him back, put him back on the active roster. Then with Melvin Gordon, if you wanted him back on a practice squad, you could release him and let him clear waivers. I, I think that he would. I don't think anybody's going to be clamoring for Melvin Gordon. But hey, you never know. But you could release him and then 
uh, let them clear waivers from the practice squad, and then you could sign them back to the practice squad again. So then you could have your three call-ups all over again. They will start over since you released them and let them clear waivers. Then he'll be back on your practice squad. You have Keaton Mitchell on your active roster. Boom. You could be Justice Hill, Gus Edwards, and Keaton Mitchell because I think it's looking like Justice Hill is your starter right now, as of right now. As of Sunday afternoon at 4.47 p.m., Justice Hill is your starter right now. I don't even think it's going to be Gus Edwards. But another conversation for another day, so, so we'll see. Um, but that's one thing that they could do. They could also look into the trade market. And there's some names out there, especially with the timing out there. Got to wonder if the Ravens will look at Jonathan Taylor. If they look at a guy like, probably not Kareem Hunt because of off the field stuff But There's some options out there There's some different guys That they could look at Outhouse In-house um, They'll have some choices for sure uh, But it, it really does suck That they have to Be in this position Where they have to look at choices At the running back position Because this is a position That we were all Going into the season Like oh yeah 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 we Okay we straight We straight We got JK Yeah we got Gus Yeah Got Justice Yeah Keith Mitchell Hey we got Melvin Going on the practice squad Now JK Dobbins is out Keith Mitchell for now Is out So you're down to Three out of five Not bad But I mean you still got uh, Owen Wright on the practice squad As well So I can't forget about him Now uh, another thing Um Oh, they said Patrick Queen was in tears uh, when he talked about J.K. Dobbins' injury. Because they, they, they feel for him, man. They feel for him. I can understand why. That, that's your guy. That's your brother, man. And now he's out for the year. And you know what his situation is. You know everything that he done went through, not only this offseason, but just the past couple of seasons, too, with the injuries. You know what it's like. So that makes you feel for somebody, man. Especially somebody you care about. You hate to see something like that happen to somebody you care about. But... With J.K. Dobbins, now it's um, we're going to see. We're going to see. But I would not be surprised if we saw his last game with the Baltimore Ravens. And this, this was it. Um, Ravens also got some. We still waiting on MRIs for Ronnie Stanley. Uh, Tyler Linderbaum, too. Well, Ronnie Stanley, I, well, he was on the ground holding his knee. I said, oh, no. But then they showed him walking around. I was like, okay. And then they showed him on the sideline. So, okay, so Ronnie Stanley going to be straight. I think I ain't no doctor But I think Ronnie Stanley Be good Then they showed Tyler Lindenbaum He got hurt Got rolled up on And it looked like he was hurt But then, then he was like Kind of limping a little bit While he's going back To the locker room I think Tyler Lindenbaum Might be sure I think at the most He'll miss like Maybe a week or two It's just me I don't, I don't know nothing From nothing But I also think That he'll be straight um, But they gotta get The official uh, Word on those guys Really really soon So yeah man These Baltimore Ravens It's like They get a win but they lose so much, man. They, 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 they lost so much in the process. So it's tough, man. It's tough. Um, ah, boy, Mark Andrews, he's, he's still out for now. Um, we'll see when he comes back. But, oh, then there's Marcus Williams, too. He got hurt. He got to get an MRI, too. So it's like, man. Obviously, the Ravens all together, they all keep play, key players, but Ravens lost a lot of key guys today. And hopefully, I mean, hopefully for most of them to just be temporary, but man, they, they lost a lot today. Um, so, yeah, we just got to wait it out now, see how it goes now, and just wait for whatever it's going to be. But team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And just like hopefully no more Ravens players end up being when it comes to these injuries, we out, man.